heads inside. They've covered about two miles. Now the final punishing half mile to cover in the Gold Cup and Big Orange is going to turn in front. Big Orange from Harbour Law second. Quest for Mora nearly caught a third and fourth. She is no lady, Torsador. Then behind these Prince of Aaron is running on round runners from Sweet Selection. Order of St George coming under pressure. So two simple verses they cluster together but it's still Big Orange that leads the field heading towards the final quarter mile. Big Orange from in second. Harbour Law nearly caught third down the outside. Prince of Aaron wider out order of St George beginning to unwind. Then she is no lady. Big Orange with two lengths on the field heading to the final furlong. Here comes order of St George gaining quickly on the outside. Big Orange from order of St George. Big Orange can he find a little bit more juice out in front. Order of George. Order of St George ranging up to join him. Big Orange buckling down. Nose to nose. They hit the line. Big Orange on the far side. May just have held on from order of St George. The siege and over on the inside Nanina and now taken out very wide as last year's winner Alexander Goldrun. Only about four lengths covers the field at the three and Ouija board in the centre. Now looms up on the outside, grabs a narrow lead. Here's Alexander Goldrun and race for the stars. It's going to be a two and a half foot long sprint on here as Ouija board the far side is now being tackled by Alexander Goldrun. Behind them is race for the stars and they've kicked away from Chelsea Rose. The two great fillies, a fill and a half left to go. Far side Ouija board, near side Alexander Goldrun. Not a breath between them. Four legs in front of Nadina batting on. Ouija board, the far side won't give in. Near side is Alexander Goldrun. Absolutely nothing between them. They race towards the line now. Photo! And back there with him is Glass Harmonium, so he is back last. So they head out towards the 1,700 metres and Elo goes away with a long, long lead early in the Melbourne Cup. And he goes six or seven lengths on Managar. About three lengths away at first sight. Then Jukebox Jury and Nywat on the inside. Precedence pulling his way around them. Then Moyon Kanish and the Verminator. Drunken Sailor a length and a half away. Next over on the inside. And he's being followed lost in the moment. Moden right behind him. Then Lucas Cranach. Tullamore in the brown colours, the rail from Shamrocker, then Dunedin, Wellbackers, Hawk Island, and Fox Hunt, Red Cadeau, American, Scepter Party, unusual suspect, and older than time, second last, and Glass Harmonium is at the tail of the field, about 1,300 metres left to go. It's Elo, the leader. Cummings pair out in front for the time being. At the 1,200 metres, Elo by three lengths precedence. Three lengths Managar, Jukebox Jury at first sight running down in fifth placing. A length and a half, Boyon Conish down on the inside rail, followed by Nywat on his outside. Then came the Verminator, a thousand to go. Moden next from Drunken Sailor, Lucas Cranach, Shamrocker out wide. Tullamore next and then Dunedin about ten off the leader. Followed Hawk Island and Fox Hunt, Red Cadeau. And then came Glass Harmonium, Scepter Party, American with a lot to do today. Then Unusual Suspect and Older Than Time on the swing. And it's the two Cummings runners still. Lilo the inside end precedence. The challenges are coming. Diawatt around the outside puts in his run. Bowden's off the track. Menegar comes on. Then came at first sight looking for the way clear. Dunedin trying to find a way through. Lucas Cranach on the scene with a big run. With 300 metres to go now, Precedence hit the lead, but Managar challenges strongly. Lucas Cranach and getting up on the inside, lost at the moment with a challenge. Here's Red Cano starting to flash home on the outside now. Lucas Cranach hit the lead. Red Cano coming down the outside. Dunedin is coming through in the middle. Dunedin, Red Cano and Lucas Cranach. Dunedin is coming hard. Dunedin, Red Cano. Dunedin and Red Cano. They hit the line. A photo finish between Dunedin and Red Cano. Nothing in it. Uh, they are Cheval Grand along with Salouen and Mirando as they emerge out of Swinley Bottom and now racing inside the final six, just passing the six furlong marker. And Norway is serving up a strong gallop, followed by Magic Wand in second place. On the outside in the pink colours is Hunting Horn. Anthony Van Dyke then the inside of Crystal Ocean. Enable is still well back behind Valgeist, followed by Defoe, Cheval Grand, and then Salouen and Mirando is being ridden along to Little avail at the back of the field heading on towards the four furlong marker they are well strung out it's looked a punishing pace being set by Norway who will surely come back to them in the straight in second magic wand hunting horn then crystal ocean in fourth Valgeist and then after Valgeist on the outside is enable beginning to pick up 
one or two scalps as they run into the home straight and Norway drifting off the inside closed down by Crystal Ocean Enable making rapid progress down the outside Crystal Ocean goes on but Enable is quick to challenge then Hunting Horn and Valdgeist Enable on the outside of Crystal Ocean and these two are kicking away from Valgeist in third racing on towards the final furlong and what a battle between them Enable near side Crystal Ocean will not give in on the far side they go head to head toe to toe she's just in front Enable racing up towards the line and she'll win a second gig George what a race that was a horse race they make their way around the clubhouse turn. Balco Star shattered by the Tin Man. High Chaparral kept right up there, running along in third position as the pace begins to quicken for the run down the backstretch. Fall Rob still on hold, running along in fourth. Storming home. Gary Stevens, fifth on the outside, running along in mid-pack, and they're running comfortably at this juncture. Right Sky has asked for more run at the midway point down the backstretch. Suleimani, long shot, Takani is tailing off, and Joe Hart still trailing the field. The Tin Man takes over with a half mile to go. It's the Tin Man in front, but Fall Rob looms on the outside. A threatening second as they race into the far turn. High Chaparral is called on for his run as Balto Star retreats. Storming home, and Gary Stevens says go with him. They're only three lengths from the front as they approach the top of the stretch. Then Bright Sky on the inside of Suleimani. Johar watching his bed, and there's two furlongs to go in the British Tuck turn. And here comes Fabra charging up the turn on the outside to cut the Tin Man. And Fabra's in front, but here comes High Chaparral. High Chaparral, the defending champ, to take it to Fabra. These two arch rivals head to head with Johar bearing down on them. It's going to be a three horse photo finish in the turn. Here's the wire. Photo finish. High Chaparral in between horses. Mike Smith sends Sunbird to the front, and Beholder is right there, and I'm a chatterbox is going to put some pressure on now, too. And then it's Perlina away running in fourth position. Land over C is next. Stellar Wind, who just did not come out of the gate well at all. It's about six lengths off the lead with the Argentinian Corona Del Inca alongside of her. Forever Unbridled is last, and Sunbird leads the way through a 23-1 opening quarter mile. A solid first fraction for her, but she's in the clear as they race on to the backstretch. I'm a chatterbox is running along in second position onto the backstretch run. And then comes Carolina Beholder on the outside is fourth. She's now four lengths off of Songbird up the backstretch. It's another two and a half to Stellar Wind. And Victor Espinosa has her six lengths off the lead right now. Then land over sea forever unbridled and Corona Del Inca. So it's a 47 flat half for Songbird. Very easy for her as she continues her journey into the far turn with a length lead. I, but Chatterbox continues to pursue in second. Beholder has not moved yet. Gary Stevens has not asked her to go as of yet. Now he's starting to ask just a bit. And she's a length and a half off of Songbird, third of the far turn. Songbird has taken on now. And here comes Beholder and a confrontation of champions as they come toward the top of the stretch. I'm a Chatterbox trying to cling to them. Stellar wins, got work to do. Songbird and Beholder, and they're into the stretch. And here we go. Songbird set down. Beholder is alongside. Forever unbridled is two and a half lengths behind them. Furlong to run. Songbird, Beholder, they are nose to nose. This race living up to its expected power as they come to the wire. Their nose is apart. It's Beholder. And Bastino from Grundy in second, Star Appeal and Dahlia, then Ashmore, then on my way, beginning a run towards the stand side of the two final marker. And it's Bastino, Joe Mazza, being pressed by Pat Henry now, Grundy, then Dahlia in third.